Hello, today I would like to talk to you a little bit about the KDZ Ultra and what we use to cement them. You know, traditionally our all ceramic crowns, whether it be Illuminous or even Empress and Thin Emacs, we have to bond them into place, which requires high technique sensitivity and multiple steps. The advantage of a KDZ Ultra and how these are fabricated, we have a zirconia coping or core, very, very strong, and then we overlay with a beautiful powder liquid ceramic, and we use Noritake, which I think is, a, is the most beautiful ceramic we have out there. What we can cement the Ultra, because we have the strong core, we can almost use anything we want. The best way to bond any crown or any restoration to a tooth is via adhesion and adhesive cementation. That would require a dentin bonding agent and a true resin cement. Oftentimes we can't, maybe it's a second molar, already subgingival margins, patient has a big tongue, we can't put a rubber dam. To go through all those isolation steps or the steps during isolation would be prohibitive. The nice thing about the Ultra, because we have this strength, we can cement it with anything we want. So the best is always a total etch and a resin cement. Sometimes we can't do that. The second are the self etching resin cements. Very easy to use is a little bit of compromise on bond to tooth and the restoration. But as long as we have a relatively retentive prep design, this is a restoration on that will stay on for many, many years, many years. Very easy to use. Lastly, the very cool thing about the Ultra because of the strength of the core, we can even temporarily cement these restorations. We certainly couldn't do that with Empress, with Illuminous Crowns, or even thin Emacs. And where that may be advantageous is a situation where the patient comes in and the tooth is very, very sensitive, let's say, to hot and cold. And you think maybe it's a cracked amalgam that was there previously. So you go ahead and prepare the tooth for a crown, you put a temporary, and the tooth is still sensitive. We've all gone in thinking it was the provisional that caused the sensitivity, so we go ahead and cement the definitive crown only to have the endodontist, or maybe ourselves, drill a little hole through the top of that beautiful crown, do the endo, and then fill the access opening. The nice thing about the Ultra, when I have a situation where the tooth is hot or sensitive during that entire provisional phase, I can temporarily cement an Ultra, and that's one of the, the few of the all ceramic restorations we can do that with. I can temporarily cement that, see if that calms down, and then I can have the patient back, and typically I wait about 60 days, two months, I have, if that calms down, I pop it off and bond it to place. If, however, it goes to an endodontic situation, the endodontist can pop that crown off, go ahead and do the endo, maintain the same margins, then when the endodontist is done, I can bond this crown into place. So I hope that helps and gives you the advantages of using an Ultra as compared to some of the other weaker ceramic systems that are available in the dental market.